motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. If you have no confidence in self, you're twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won before you have started. That's a quote from the late great Marcus Garvey, leader of the Pan-African movement out of Jamrock, Jamaica. So today we're going to talk about confidence and how confidence plays a vital role in the success for your life. All right, peace and greetings, family. Welcome to another episode of thequeendome.com. And I am coming to you live on top of a mountain. (laughs) Just hiked up a mountain. I figured this would be uh, the perfect opportunity for me to take a breather. Before I continue, I'm about two-thirds of the way up. Got just a little bit more to go, uh, but that last part is the toughest. So I figured, um, why, not, why not do the episode from right here? So here we are. So let's take a deep breath and get into the present moment before we get into t- to today's episode, which we're going to talk about confidence. Confidence wins. Hopefully the wind is not too bad. Maybe I can edit it out. I don't know. We'll see. But let's take a couple of deep breaths and get into the present moment. All right. All right. So confidence wins, right? You know, um, anything that you're embarking on, whether it be business whether it be uh, better health, whether it be pursuing a relationship, um, whatever it is, having confidence is going to allow you, let me see if I can block that one. Uh, having, okay. So having confidence is going to allow you to be able to attract that thing, conquer that thing, obtain that, you know, business, uh, that that relationship, that capital that you may be pursuing, or whatever it is. And sorry for the uh, minor distractions that I have going on. I'm out here in the elements, so I got things crawling on me. I got the wind blowing. I got helicopters going over my head. So we got a lot going on out here today uh, in this episode, but uh, it's all good. We're going to make it through. So confidence. You know, um, when, I, when I consult with clients, with, with um, students, I find that, um, and I've been doing this over, over some years, so I've been collecting some data, you know, over the years. And what I find is those that are winning, and I'm talking about winning at, at a, high, a high rate, those are the ones that really have um, their confidence game, you know, uh, up to par. And their, their confidence game is unshakable. You know, um, I think in any gender, regardless of what gender you're attracted to or whatever, confidence is so sexy. Confidence is just really, really sexy. If you think about it, you know, maybe you've seen this before in your life. You know, you've seen someone that may not necessarily be so attractive to you, but their confidence game is so high and they're so confident that it just it, it makes them attractive and it makes it makes things attract to them so just in, in in that way you know you can view 
you know, just that example in all other areas that you need to have confidence in. You know, you need to have confidence in, in your business pursuits. You know, if you're, if you're, I used to do cold calls um, for a lot of my businesses. You know, how I would get them started is I would just, back in the day, you know, you younger folks probably don't know about this, but there used to be books with, with thick, thick books, like thousands of pages, and they used to have all the phone numbers uh, of businesses in those pages. They used to be called the yellow pages, right? So, you know, I figured out early on, like I would call him and I would be all apprehensive and may I, may I speak with the CEO and, you know, they just hang up on me, right? Or, you know, whatever. But if I, if I call in as a CEO looking to speak to the CEO, I would get respect, you know, I would get respect. So when you when you look at it and here's here's the here's the formula behind that it's like frequency attracts one another so you know the things that you want you have to be confident in pursuing those things how do you get confident let me tell you one of the ways i got confident i got confident by learning my craft i got really really educated on what it was that i was selling at the time when i was making cold calls and I knew everything about that product that there were. You couldn't tell me. I, I knew everything about I was an absolute genius with that product. So my confidence was through the roof. You, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be educated on what it is that you're doing, obviously, to grow your confidence. Another way that I got really, really confident is I got really, really healthy. I got I, I, I turned into a health nut. I've turned into a health maniac a fitness guru i know everything there is to know about the body and my body in particular and how to keep it healthy and how to keep it at optimal health so i'm very very confident when it comes to my body and my fitness right people tell me sometimes why wouldn't i work that way let me let that wind die down but, but why wouldn't I walk like I, I own the earth? My name is Queen. Hello? <laughs> I sit on a throne, you know? And I'm not just saying it's about me. This also is about you, too. Same thing for you. You know, why wouldn't you walk like you own the earth? Why wouldn't you go in expecting that deal to go through? Why wouldn't you expect that trade to happen in your favor? Why wouldn't you expect that real estate deal to pop? Why wouldn't you? Because that's what confidence is. And so if you want to win at anything in life, you can't be, you can't, you can't go at it weak. Man, weak frequency, low vibration, it just attracts weak frequency and low vibration. Right? For those high frequencies, the high vibrations, you got to have confidence. Stand up, great posture, and know your craft. Know that you're worth it. Know that you have everything at your disposal to make it happen. And then just take action. Now, I'm not saying be cocky about it. You know, it's a fine line between confidence and cockiness. Right? I've been on that other side. You know, <laughs> it happens. Right? But you have to get yourself back. You know, and there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being confident. You know, we, 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 we try to uh, downplay you know, society, I think, tries to downplay, like, um, being average. Or they were, actually, they don't downplay being average. They, they glorify being average. You know, and being average is weak. Being average is average. Being average is mediocre. Winners, winners have confidence in everything that we do. In everything that we do. So, anyways... Um, Hopefully this episode comes out okay. I can shake the, the, uh, some of the background noise out. We'll see uh, when I get to editing. We'll see how it all comes out. But uh, just remember, you know, confidence wins every single time. Confidence wins. I've, I've, been, I've been in situations where I didn't necessarily know all the ins and outs about a particular deal, a business deal. But my confidence got me the deal because I knew 
that I could access whatever it was that I needed to make the thing a success. So that's, that's confidence. Again, all levels. At all levels. Okay? So keep winning, winners. All right, peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.